What is up everyone? Welcome, we are finally back for unboxing videos. When's the last time we did one of these? Ooh, spring. Yeah. Spring. April, May. Maybe spring. It was a while May. back. June. We, did, we were on a roll, weren't we? We got loads and loads done and I, I had to disappear for a while and now I'm back. And <clears> since then we've built a brand new studio. Um, so unfortunately no more relaxing on the sofas, although we do have a sofa. Um, yeah. It's not really in shot. So we've got some stools here, which is, uh, is it working all right for you? Yeah, it's nice. Okay. Yeah, nice it's and It's kind of good for me. Yeah, yeah it's nice. Um, we've got something actually pretty exciting today. We've got the new, uh, what we think is the Gibson Les Paul Moderns. We've got two boxes here. It Looks says like it. it on the boxes and we've ordered them. So we're hoping it's both of them. Uh, we haven't seen them yet. We haven't uh, certainly played them or checked them out. They literally came in stock just a few days ago. Um, so Dan, do you want to do the honour? Send one my way. I've got the safety scissors ready. They're not the safety scissors, they're the danger scissors. The <laughs> no, safety scissors I've are the got yellow ones. so much experience Ooh. with these that they are safe. They're danger scissors. All right. Tell you what, straight off the bat. It's a nice Gibson box. That's a nice weight. It's a nice it's Gibson a nice box. Way. I'm just going to go for the rip. What? What? What do you mean? Dan Russell. There you go. Oh. All right then. Whatever floats you go. It's not pussy foot around. Oh, I like that. It's the old rain hat. You know what, Andy? Yeah. We should have got all three colours, shouldn't we? Then you would have had one. It would be, yeah. Yeah, I, I, can, um, I, can, I can just supervise. That, is nice. you, uh, that can't be You supervise. Safe. That can't be safe. I've left him a little breathing hole at Who's the bottom of his mouth To be honest, my, my, my son needs one of those. Uh, He's quite, a nightmare. Do you quite like them, actually? I'll tell you what, it might soften up this chair a little bit, because it's quite a... Don't it's pop it. Don't pop it. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. <sighs> Get over there. Right, I'm in. Oh, black case. Oh, that was quick. Black, it's the black latches that set it Ooh, off for me. Oh, I like the case. Yeah, this has got to be a modern, hasn't it? So this is brand new. These are all brand Ooh. new, aren't they? Oh, dear me. Deary, 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 deary me. Holy, Ooh. holy baloney. Wow. In tune as well. Ish. 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 Okay. Ooh, that means I've got. Oh my Go goodness, look at, the, look at the Chevron flame on that. Oh, I oh. love that. Oh, you know what, Dan, hold it up, hold it up. Everyone do a silly face. This is our thumbnail opportunity. Doom. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's insane. I'm taking this one up a little bit. Wow, I'll bring I do some. love both look of these. Look at that bad boy. They've got a different type of flame on as well, yeah. haven't they? Lovely. Can't get too close, the light vanishes. And this one is obviously <laughs> going to sound better because it's blue and everyone knows blue guitars sound better. Um, so, funnily enough, I was saying to Dan earlier, um, we've got a Gibson Les Paul Modern in stock. We've had it for a while now, but it just hasn't been the right time to launch it on the site. Um, and we've got the, the ones, obviously, that predecess this with the, just the solid finishes yeah. in Pelham Blue. Which is nice. Um, I don't know, is that all that's different with these? Just that it's got a figure top? I'm guessing so. I because... think so. I can't, I, I know the one that you're talking about, the Pelham Blue one, we've had it on the wall before. Yeah. I think it's that you've got figure triple A figure tops on this. Yeah. Whereas on the older ones, they were just like solid, just solid, solid sparkly, top. like sparkling burgundy and that's it. Pelham blue and all that. Like, that's which it. I love personally because I see a lot of flame tops, but that, that is the craziest Chevron V flame yeah. top I've ever seen. Nearly, it's incredible, and that's got like a more finer flame, but it's got flame this way as well, cross yeah. grain. You know what? We will do a video as well, um, highlighting the um, have a little playoff, a little difference thing between the. Yeah. Old and the new because without looking in depth, I don't know if it's the same pickups and stuff. I think These, it is burst Pro yeah, there. this has got a burst bucker pro in the neck and a burst bucker pro plus in the bridge. Um, I'm not sure if that was the same on the other one, but top right. of my head, it is, but I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't, I'm not 100% sure. I will tune this up. So, and, uh... the idea behind these, um, essentially, is it's taking all of the contemporary features that. Obviously, Gibson have had like a little bit of an experiment over the they've last few years. They've had a journey over 10 years. They've, they? they've, had, they've had some hits, they've had some misses. Um, yeah. This is supposed to be all of the stuff that people liked. Oh, so there's no all robo of, tuners, eh? Not no, the start. no right. robot tuners, lock in that tuners. Makes sense. Lock but in it's tuners. got stuff Go like the slim taper neck profile. Asymmetric. Uh, compound radius fretboard. So if you don't oh, know what that means, that's where you've got like more of a radius at the bottom end, and as you go out to the top end, it flattens out a little bit, so you can get a lower action for some shred. Um, like that. That's cool. You've got the modern neck heel joint, so it's a bit more comfortable when you go up the top end. So 
just the kind of cool modern appointments, lightweight mahogany, all the stuff that people liked over the last few years rather than Modern. robot tuners and all that kind of stuff. It looks really, really nice. I've always liked them, always been a massive fan. Um, is it? I bet it's got better. It's got cryogenically treated frets as well, hasn't it? Probably has. I think the other ones did, everything, didn't they? Just everything. Yeah. Yeah, everything that's good. They're quite skinny little frets on these as well. They are they? nice. Um, is it? I guess it's an ebony board. Yeah, um, board. ebony. Genuine ebony. Genuine. Should we see what it sounds like? Yeah, quite I've just dialed this in. I'll, um, I'll hand it over to Give you. Her Give her a goose. Give her a goose. Right, can hear from here. Sounds cool. That sounds amazing. Sounds cool. I'll tell you what, it plays like absolute butter as well. Why did I choose the shortest lead in the world? Why? If only I had a wireless pack behind me. <laughs> it's it's got to be a stretch over to Dan. I haven't got a plectrum. Daniel, can you fine. get me a plectrum? I got one here. Right, thanks. Somebody removed the plectrum thing out of my seat. Daniel Russell. Well, oh, that's mine. Okay. Trouble with those higher notes. No. Smooth out the room. Cleans up beautifully. Tell you what, that cleans up <laughs> like I know some Les Pauls clean up, but that cleans up in a natural way. It sounded yeah, yeah, really yeah. even when it was down. That was cool. It's got push pulls and all kinds of. I don't know what's going on there. We so we've got go on coil splits on the volumes. Okay, and then on the tone we've got oh, an, a bypass, a phase yeah. control, and a bypass control. Oh, yeah. Hold that thought, Andy. Okay, so so give yourself a little split on the old. I'm just giving you a clean. You got some clean sound. Yeah. No uh, fender strap, but it's definitely push came to shove. Coil it's, you sound, know. Yeah. And then back oh, in. Really good. What's it like in the middle? Out of the back With in the both middle, both split. the split. I wonder if it kind of had that telly thing going, but not no, so not much. quite. But if you put both the, so it's just normal humbuckers. Still a great clean. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. What were the mean? other two knobs? Sorry. So you've got the splits on the volume. So you've got the core splits on the volumes, yeah. and then on the tone you've got a bypass, and you've got oh. a phase switch. I see, because... <laughs> <laughs> Andy, don't break it! That is literally <laughs> Andy with any guitar in the world. It's been stress tested. I mean, in all fairness, it was a little bit goosey-loosey. But, you know, we'll get that sorted. Uh, I don't know which is which. Blue one's fine. Cool. Love it. What's that doing though? Was well, that just phase off. or was that the bypass the tone ah. as in like get rid of the tone stack so have a little boost kind of thing? Just pure, um, yeah, just pure. Flat out. Yeah. yeah. That's interesting cool. I can still turn it down. Probably bypass the tone. Bypass phase the tone, I thought. Oh, that's, yeah. No, that's phasing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's like that opposite when I flip the humbucker, that's all. Peter Greeny type, you know. Yeah. yeah. Cool. That's awesome. Cool. Love it. Nice. Um, Dan, do you want to plug in the blue one? Is it tuned up? Do you want me to tune it up? Uh, I'll tune it up. It's definitely not in tune. Um, 
Just pass me the red one over. Yeah, true. Oh, she's gonna stretch, she's gonna stretch, she's gonna stretch. Swap, swap with me, Andy, swap. Oh. Over we go, over we go. If only we had a wireless system. Catch up wireless. Amazing. Nice Sounds comfortable really cool. neck. I'd love to get a piece of sandpaper on that, mat it down. <laughs> you would have. Um, I can't remember, but when we were doing these back in the day, were we rating these? We were, but it is very hard to rate them when you've only just got them out of the box and had like three seconds of play with it. It is hard, <laughs> but I feel like we still should. Because um, I could definitely give this a rating, there's no doubt about it. Because it yeah, just yeah. sits in a special little place for me. It's its own like, thing though, isn't it? I don't, you can't yeah. really compare it to anything. You could. You could compare it to a PRS to an extent, you know, the old... Uh, you rate, I'm going to give I'm gonna give a couple of off-the-cuff pros and cons. Go on, then. So, well, fine. Well, I'm going to give it a rating out of 10. And I'll tell you what, I liked the old moderns and the solid colours, but I'm not going to lie, I do like these more. Yeah, this is, cool. even though it's like, just a, they're just a bit dirty looking, aren't they? They're just like really cool. They're so out there. Um, I, I was giving this like a solid 8.1 out of 10. Super good, loads of cool tones, feels amazing to play. You could easily gig this live all day. It doesn't, it's not heavy, and it would be really, really cool to record with, so. What, why isn't it 10 then? What, what would it do to get that extra two? Well, there, there's, there'd never be a 10, otherwise life would just be over. I'd never need to find a guitar again, so. But to get it to a 9.9, .9, well, it's just, it's just not. It's like, it's, that's just down to taste, You got it? very a close there with the um, PRS like, Modern Eagle 5, didn't start. you? I did, yeah. yeah. That was pretty much perfection in a nutshell. Um, a couple of pros and cons for me, just for people who are wondering, um, should I get one? So pros, if you are looking for kind of a dual guitar that's really flexible, great recording machine, then this is definitely something to look out for. If you are someone who loves to mod guitars, this has got loads of the mods done for you. Cons, if you are someone who just wants straight up classic Les Paul, a slash Les Paul is your dream Les Paul, this might have too many bells and whistles and the compound radius and stuff might not be for you. Mm. It takes a bit of getting used to if you're not used to it. Yeah. But I could get used to it. You like it? Yeah, I do. I you're a fan? It. Yeah, I am a big fan. I absolutely love it. It looks stunning. I mean, I'm annoyed that the, the knob came off. Shouldn't do that on a guitar for three grand, really. But... Oh, yeah. That is loose. So yeah. Shouldn't be, it should, that shouldn't happen at three grand. But So I'm going to knock it down a couple of points for that. But that, I think that is a <laughs> I think they're just all a bit loose. Well, that's just rubbish, isn't it? For a three it's grand. To, so he's top two. It, he's can, top two. That is rubbish. Is it... Can we blame it, though, on the weather? No, you cannot. No, I've got, no, a, I've got I gave yeah. to PRS for 10 years. I smashed it up. I used it. Never once did that happen. So, so that's just, it's got, got the... to be honest. I've got to give it a like for like. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. How many guitars have you had call taps on that? Happened? It's got the split pots though, hasn't it? So yeah. they're just not wide enough. That's yeah. No, but that, again, yeah. I can't make excuses when it's three grand and new. That's, but that's no. a minor thing. It's a minor fix. But if, you if you're not skilled and confident, you've got your three-round guitar, you were going to get your screwdriver out and start bending that in. Mm. Don't you need know, a screwdriver. You just need one of these Petrucci Plectrums. You know what I mean? It's still a bit nerve-wracking, isn't it? When you spend three grand, yeah, and you, yeah. know what you're doing, you know yeah. we do. We do this all day long, so we're not scared by a three grand guitar. But it's got a lovely top on it. I could just see someone with their screwdriver on a Sunday afternoon. Oh! Don't, uh, right. First of all, don't ever do that with a screwdriver if you're ever doing it. No, do don't. it with something plastic. Do it yeah, with a do not, it with a Petrucci. Something that's yeah. only just as hard as the finish. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, well, that's right. it. Apart from that, I'd give it a, probably a nine out of ten. Yeah, I think it's great. Love I mean, the sound. Really good. Bright as hell. If you're looking for a rocky Les Paul, this yeah. screams. It absolutely screams. It's great. So nice, it. spanky, ebony fretboard. Yeah. Man. Really cool guitar. Both of them. So yeah, for a modern player, great Les Paul. Great choice. Definitely worth checking one out. Yeah. If you want something really traditional and you don't want all the slim neck and everything, maybe look elsewhere. But this is a fantastic guitar. Yep. Yeah, I Different think it's as amazing. well. You don't see many. No. So I think it's unique. I like it. I'm well, fine. it's good to be back. Um, first one down. Um, if you've got any questions, we do have obviously both of them in. We will be playing them, photographing them, getting them all up together, ready to go on Guitar Gear giveaways. So we will spend some time with these guitars. If you've got any queries about them or you're wondering anything, then by all means do drop a comment below. Make sure to subscribe. And if you're in the UK, you can probably enter to win this as well. Um, if you're not, then thanks so much for watching the video. 
We'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah, yeah. and by all means, if you want to check out what it's like compared to the other one, uh, roughly around the same time, check out the other video. Boom! See you guys. If it was just a, just a bit of luck. The old one used to do that every now and again. The old what, monitor? Uh, the monitor that was there. What is it then? <laughs> What's causing it? This is the same monitor. Yeah, that's what I mean. It might be the monitor. There yeah, but it's weird that it, it's, it's continuously had this problem, right? Is that what you mean when you say it goes to sleep? Yeah, yeah it just it, goes yeah. like that.